I'll tell you what, the problem with people like me is that we only really ever talk about the flagship super duper high-end tech. Very few of us can actually afford it. And the aim of the game with this guy, the 40 SE and also the 40 R5G I've got here as well, is to give you the best possible phone in terms of design, performance, battery life, camera, without completely breaking the bank. And I'll tell you right up front that this the SE starts at $169.99 US dollars. Uh, and also there are different versions in terms of configurations coming to different markets, but you will be able to buy this outside of China, which is one of those issues that we do come across with some of these really good, uh, more affordable phones is that you just can't buy them here. You will be able to with this. And yeah, 170 USD, not too shabby. So I'm gonna unbox this for you, walk you through the key features. If you do fancy checking it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. And a big thank you to TCL for sending these phones out for me to have a play with and also partnering with me on this video. So this is the 40 SE with this very colorful uh, shimmery front cover here. I've actually got two versions of this, one in each color. We've got the dark gray and the twilight purple. Inspire greatness. Let's get this unboxed. Opening the security tape might help. And if we just get this out of the plastic to start, 40 SE, 6.75 inch dual stereo speakers, although I imagine by that they mean one pair of stereo speakers, 50 megapixel AI triple camera, 256 gigs of storage and six gigs of RAM. And there is two variants of this, four plus 128 and six plus 256. And there you have it in all its glory. This is the SE. In the box, we also have a whole bunch of paperwork, and a USB cable. Always remember the price of this thing though, it puts everything else into perspective. And of course they have to make decisions and some compromises to get to this level. Three, two, one. So this is the dark gray, as I promised. Let's now open the purple one, the twilight purple. Look at that, two for one unboxing in one video. Three for one in fact, if we do the uh, 40R 5G as well later on. And this is the Twilight Purple. I love this thing. And if I put them side by side, I mean, they both have this sort of matte shimmery effect to it, but the purple specifically has this kind of iridescent quality to it. So as the light hits it, it changes color a little bit between sort of cyan and purple. I actually showed my wife this earlier when I was using it and taking some photos out and about. And she was like, oh, that is a beautiful phone. If you were gonna pick one of these up, would you go dark gray or Twilight Purple though? Let me know in the comments. So the TCL 40 SE boasts this huge 6.75 inch next vision display. It's flat, which I know a lot of you guys do prefer. We have this tiny teardrop notch up there housing the eight megapixel selfie camera, which does also support face unlocking. On the right side, we have the power button, which doubles as a side fingerprint reader, as well as the volume rocker, just the same in micro SD on the left side. On the bottom, we have the USB-C port, one of the speakers, the other one on the top, and also of course that three and a half mil headphone jack. Shout out to these speakers though, as not only do we have a stereo setup, but they are identical. The top and bottom speakers are exactly the same, which is very rare. Much better for your videos, games, and music. Come on, here we go. Pop this little sim injector out. Is that gonna, there you go. It's, it's on eye focus my camera. Let's try that. Look at that. Dual 4G SIM and room for a micro SD up to one terabyte. But to be honest, you may not ever have to use the micro SD as the SE comes with either 128 or 256 gigs of storage. And that's with either four or six gigs of RAM respectively. And you can also boost the RAM with up to three gigs of storage, which in some cases can boost the uploading times. But crucially, 128 gigs of storage, not bad at all. They've crammed in a 5,010 milliamp hour battery into a phone this thick. And so that is a huge battery. And considering we have a slightly lower power chip in here, as you'd expect, the MediaTek Helio G37, which is fine for everyday stuff and some light gaming, uh, but it's also more power efficient. And also together with the adaptive refresh rate, this can go between 60 and 90. I do need to spend more time with this before I give you a final judgment, but this should easily last you two days. So battery life, big check. And it's running Android 13 and version five of TCL's UI on top. One of the compromises they've made to keep this price down is they've gone with an HD plus screen. So not even full HD plus, which you don't see very often. And if you do bring the phone close up to your eyes, then you can just about make out individual pixels. One upside of this slightly lower resolution is that actually it makes the phone and everything you're playing less demanding as well. So it's a little bit quicker. We also have Next Turbo, which helps the software and hardware work together more efficiently. And TCL say this can actually boost performance by up to 30%. Jumping into the display settings, and you've got the usual suspects, including the refresh rate, 60, 90, or keep on smart, which I do. 
However, if we jump back to the settings and then go down to the next vision menu, we have these specific image, video, and game enhancement options, which can give you a more cinematic and vibrant experience. You can turn them off if you prefer, but they're a good option to have. But then below that, you also have your quick access to the usual display menu modes, including the reading, eye comfort, and darker display modes, all really useful if you're browsing Reddit at night or watching YouTube videos. Uh, and also you've got this specific sunlight display mode, which boosts the brightness when you're out and about in the sun. Let's talk about this camera. Really what we're talking about is the main 50 megapixel camera, uh, but we also have a two megapixel macro with a four centimeter focal length and also a two megapixel depth lens to improve portrait shots and give you a little bit more of a realistic bokeh effect. But there's no telephoto or ultra wide here. And you have an absolute ton of modes to play with. And first impressions, the camera is actually not too bad. It uses their AI scene detection to smartly enhance the subjects in your frame. And they have also focused on improving low light performance, which is where phones like this typically do fall down. Couple of things to bear in mind. This is 4G rather than 5G. We don't have any wireless charging uh, and also there's no IP water resistance rating. So I would avoid taking a shower with it. And you can't expect anything crazy from the performance of the camera at this price point. But that is the key, this price point under $200, which will vary based on the currency and where you're buying it. But it's one heck of a package for that kind of price. Before we finish, I do want to mention this, the TCL 40R 5G. Similar overall design to the 40 SE, albeit with this quite unique etched pattern on the back. I have the Starlight Black model here, but it also comes in a gorgeous Stardust Purple. And we do also get a headphone jack and micro SD support, a side fingerprint reader, a similar 50 megapixel triple camera setup, and also a huge 5,000 mAh battery with 15 watt charging. So again, this should easily last you a couple of days. But what really sets the 40R 5G apart is well, as it says on the tin, really, 5G support. And for $219, this is one of the most affordable 5G phones you can buy. We also get a more powerful MediaTek Dimensity 700 chip and also a 6.6-inch 90 hz Next Vision display. Still 720p, still LCD, but those Next Vision image enhancements do a good job of making the screen look surprisingly good. And that 90 hz makes all the difference for making everything feel smoother and more responsive. Check this out though, it is exclusive to the 40R 5G and it's this AI color video mode, which I think is a lot of fun. It desaturates the background and makes me really stand out and pop. Definitely one to have a play around with. But the best bit is I get to give away one of these phones to you guys and you decide which one. Just drop a comment below telling me which is your favorite, whether it's the 40SE or the 40R 5G and also what you think is the best feature and you'll be in with a chance to win. Full TNC is in the description and I will pin a comment with the winner. So $169 for the TCL 40 SE and $219 for the TCL 40 R 5G. That is not bad at all. And if you have any questions about these guys, just drop a comment below. Best of luck in the competition and I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat.